Hello and good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Abdul Salam Al Qassab. I'm a practicing uh, endocrinologist. Uh, I am a professor of endocrinology in the United States. I work in uh, the state of Michigan. Uh, I would like to address with you today a uh, very important topic, which is the issue of uh, osteoporosis. Uh, I am visiting Egypt now and I'm lecturing on osteoporosis uh, in the endocrine uh, meeting uh, in Alexandria, the 21st endocrine meeting of the uh, uh, Society of uh, Diabetes and Endocrinology and uh, Obesity. Uh, osteoporosis is a huge public health problem uh, in the United States and I'm sure in Egypt as well. In the United States, we have about 10 million people. Almost one in three of every woman above age 55 have lower bone density. And I'm sure in Egypt, it is such a common problem. And the reason why we pay attention to it, because it is not obvious, it's a silent condition. And that's why we have to address that condition. Everybody talks about diabetes. Everybody talks about heart disease. This condition is just as common and affects lives in many different ways. The most important issue with osteoporosis is the risk of fractures. This can happen uh, very often when people fall. And I'm sure in Egypt you know there is a prevalent vitamin D deficiency, which is an important causing factor. In addition, of course, the issue of menopause. But don't forget osteoporosis affects men as well as women. And uh, what I want you to be aware of is the awareness of osteoporosis to screen for it. Don't wait until somebody presents with a fracture. Screening is available in Egypt. It's very cheap and very cost effective. You can do a bone density scan and this can be repeated every one to two years. If the patient has osteopenia, which is the reduction in the bone mass, uh, not to the osteoporosis range, make sure that you optimize calcium and vitamin D intake. Uh, the amount of vitamin D that we recommend is at least 1,200 to 2,000 a day. The amount of calcium is at least 500 to 1,000 a day. And I'm sure in Egypt, people do not drink a lot of milk, so the intake of vitamin D and calcium is low. That by itself can help the bone density. However, it will not be able to prevent or revert osteopenia if it exists. I would like you to consider the guidelines that are published and therefore be aggressive in treating these people because you'll be having a very big impact on their lives when they uh, prevent fractures. If a patient has a fracture, that's considered an osteoporosis emergency, and I'd like you to address that very aggressively. You have all the tools, you have all the medications in Egypt that can address that, but please pay attention to this condition because it is underdiagnosed, undertreated, and it can cause a lot of harm to people's lives. Thank you very much for your attention.